Good morning guys from Przemysl, a city in southern Poland just like up like 10 miles up to the Ukrainian border where I am heading to right now. Um, over 10 months ago Russia launched a full-scale war in Ukraine and at the moment I really really want to see what it's like for the people that live there. As somebody who has lived almost three years in Ukraine in Kiev, a city I have loved deeply. I want to go back and see what life is like there. So, um, so yeah, we're heading to the tra train station right now, uh, taking a train to Kiev. I was told that from Shemish to the Ukrainian border, it's like um, 20 minutes, something like that, and then uh, 14 hours more up to Kiev Patajirsky to the central station in Kiev. So uh, yeah, join me and uh, let's see what it's all about. Here behind me, you see the train station of, uh, of Przemysl. It's, uh, it's been serving as like a hub where many Ukrainians uh, enter uh, Poland or well, European Union de facto. And uh, usually it would take like three hours by plane to Kiev. Right now you have to take either a train from Warsaw, from Budapest, from the border towns of like Przemysl or Zahony in Hungary. And uh, then take a train and uh, be on a train for 15 hours until you reach uh, the heart of Ukraine, uh, Kiev. So yeah, this is also the place where I'm going to uh, take my train and get ready for a journey for uh, 15 hours. As you can see, the people there are actually, I guess, um, well, I think they're trying to get on a train back to Kiev, like I do. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it looks like. Uh, it's quite busy, to be honest. But, um, quite a beautiful train station, too. Well, to Kiev, uh, it's departing 30 hours 45 and well, I arrive in Kiev 5 o'clock in the morning. So uh, let's do this and of course, I bought myself some snacks on the way. Okay. Sorry. Okay, it's not allowed to walk that way. So, I have to, oh, I'm so tired already. So, I've left the European Union. Here at the train station, there's like a border control for, uh, for Poland, like for the EU. So, uh, right now, our train to Kiev. And uh, the train for 15 hours. So, uh, it's going to be uh, a long, long journey. And uh, we'll see how it goes. And, uh, yeah, that's what they say. That is in Russian, I'm not sure, in Ukrainian. Um, no, a little bit Russian. Ukrainian, la chuchut, told you. But, uh, yeah.
Dobro je. Kako je vagon? Od nas, da? A, ok, konješ. Odlično. Wagon one, number one. And apparently, it's the dark blue uh, kind of train. Oh, I'm so tired. All my baggage. You know. Dobre, bien. Uh, the wagon. Okay. Ah. Ah, okay. Oh. Niederland, Niederland. Ah, okay. So our place is 85. Это можно жестно? Да? train station in Przemysl, uh, you have the border control from the Polish side of the border and I guess that we have to go out to get be, to be sent into Ukraine or I'm not sure maybe the guards go on the train I'm not sure but uh, with everything ready um, and um, yeah let's go to, to Kiev <laughs> So we just arrived uh, into Ukraine. Took almost two hours uh, in the station of Medica, well, this station after Medica. And uh, yeah, got stamped back into Ukraine. And these are my uh, little friends over here. <laughs> you can see, you see here the windows that are, um, that have tape on it in case of, well, in case of, uh, any emergencies or something like that uh, which gives the idea that they do take it seriously but when you see the people around in the train the atmosphere is very good people they don't seem to be scared people they seem to be very well relaxed going back to their place or visit families or visit parents or whatever and I'm getting to spend uh, my compartment with, uh, with three uh, my, with my friends <laughs> So it's gonna be a little party, I guess. All right, guys, we are now in uh, in Lviv, one of the cities in Ukraine, actually. Um, we're on the train, and um, yeah, from here it's only 11 more hours to uh, to Kiev, and uh, yeah. Uh, I. Let's do a video. Ah, tak, 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 nice, nice. Tak, 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 and uh, let's go get some, uh, some, uh, well, some tea. And uh, yeah, I think I will just go and uh, when I'm in Kiev, continue the video because I am so tired. I'm so tired. I, uh, and it's not so comfortable as well. If you can, if you can, well, it's comfortable, but 
It's not what I'm used to. Let me just clarify it like that. It looks more or less like this. My, uh, my bed for tonight. Um, well, for 55 a.m. in the morning, I'm dead tired. Seriously, I'm so tired. Back hurts. <laughs> the hotel and just get some sleep. Um, we are almost in uh, Kiev, as you can see it, like, like 30 minutes maximum over there. So um, yeah, we're going to get ready. Metro, ta su ga u suda. Metro, metro, su ga u suda. Ja ne tu At last we are in Kiev. So, you see there, you should see all the security. Last time it was here, it was not. It was not. Circumstances are different. So if you look very closely, you don't see any lights. Look, the lights are only from the cars. Everything, almost all lights are turned off. Basically meaning that the electricity is not working or caught up. What I was told is that they are working four hours per four hours per day. That's what my friend uh, at least told me. Um, it's really... You arrive like a city where millions of people live and it's complete darkness. This line. So, uh, so this is the ticket. Yeah, you could have used your card as well, I think. Well, I first. Up we go. So, what I was told, well, at least that's what you have to prove. And up we go. 
Come pick it up. Just imagine this place without light. There's the only light is just a little few street lights, lights of the cars, and everything is there's just no light. It's something that there you have the Maidan statue where in uh, 2014 a protest sparked the light eventually to the, uh, the pro-Russian president. Uh, Yanukovych to be ousted and exiled. And there, behind that, you have a hotel. There's just no light. Really, it's really. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I guess there's just no light. Really, it's such a strange feeling to walk around here in a city of millions of people, and there's just no light. Just darkness. Watch my steps here. Oy, oy, oy. I had a reservation. Uh it's very. Uh, last time I was in Kiev was like seven years ago. Ah. Uh, I came here. It's so dark. Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's so very dark. dark. And yeah. even now, lately, it's more even light because like three weeks before it yeah. was more dark. Yeah, but now it's. Or to get some sleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, six zero nine. Okay. Uh, curfew in Kiev, you know, starts from eleven p.m. Mm -hmm. till five in the morning. Okay. And also in the case air alert, the nearest shelter you go out from the hotel, right? Underground, fifty meters. My dad is alert. Yes, metro okay. underground. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, six floor left. Okay, perfect. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Fifteen hours on the train to Kiev. It's good to be back. Really, it feels it feels good to be back. City I've lived in for three years, 2014. City I've I've come to love. That's what I feel right now. It feels like I've met my partner again. All right. Yep. Here it is. Six oh nine. There is light. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. What is it? Uh, not too bad at all. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, maybe you can open the window, I guess. Ah, there's. Repair works going on. I, well, actually, the hotel is pretty good. Yes, it's, uh, well, it's quite fancy. Quite fancy. <laughs> All right. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is get some sleep because. This world traveler is really tired, super tired. God. So, uh, talk to you guys later. Paka, paka.